it occurs to me that I need to give you a family of Hosea addendum. Some thoughts that are implied and not necessarily spelled out. So, I want you to consider your feelings about prostitution and your feelings if <clears throat> your father, your mother, your son, your daughter, or God forbid your husband or wife was involved in prostitution. So, you marry somebody who's in that profession. We are not told that she quits her job. We're not told that he asks her to quit her job. So throughout their marriage, and we have no idea how long it takes, but it's long enough to have three kids. So somewhere between five and ten years, um, depending on how long you know reproduction cycles take. Um, <clears throat> and throughout that time, I believe we can assume that she's an active sex worker. We can believe that you know when he. We don't know if he has another profession or if he's just a prophet um, who lives on donations or whatever. But, you know, beginning of their day, you know, you can imagine that perhaps however they have a morning, maybe it's a cup of coffee, um, they will have a cup of coffee and she will go to her thing and he'll go to his thing. And she will either leave the home to go, you know, be a street worker somewhere in another part of town or maybe even in their own house. We don't know. And he is going to live with that. And he's going to continue to see her as his wife. And we find out later um, that he actually continues to be in love. Now, that statement about his character, either he is so devoted to God that it doesn't matter to him how she behaves. And most of us men could not say that. But we're so devoted to God that you will ignore any bad behavior on the part of your spouse. That you'll put up with anything. It's just a... It's an interesting stance. One of the reasons I'm putting him in that particular place in terms of where he is psychometrically. <laughs> He's doing an impressive thing most of us couldn't do. Um, and still, loves her. But we're going to find out he loves her a lot as the story goes on. The same thing would continue. You see, he's having relations and as part of a normal marriage that he's having with his wife who's also a prostitute. We don't know how many kids she has, because she's obviously of normal, if not above normal, fertility. <clears throat> she could have a ton of kids uh, back at her father's house. Um, we don't know if she's playing her trade at another place of business or in his home. We don't know. And then, how would you know that these were his own children? Because legally they're his, because they're born in his marriage. Um, sometimes the language of the Old Testament deliberately obscures um, children born out of wedlock. Um, if you look at the story uh, related to Noah's drunkenness and who the child is that came from that, um, there's two possible conclusions as to who the father might actually be, who that strange strangely colored child is that arises from that incident. Um, my point being, <clears throat> there's kids in your house and you could never be entirely sure biologically if they're yours. Um, could you love them? Could you love a woman who, gentlemen, could you love a woman who was actively plying that trade either all day long while you're at your job or all day long in your own house while you're doing whatever your job is. Most of you um, would say no and probably throw some cuss words in there as well um, or mild expletives because um, it sounds horrifying but then follow the logic if that's the case what if you never quite know exactly who you know these kids belong to. Um, God has told you to see these as your family, and so you're going to. But would your heart always be pure on the topic of, I love these kids because I have a responsibility to them and to God? Or would you be constantly thinking, is this really my kid? Is this really mine? Um, as we know as they were born in the context of that marriage and in the context of their marital relationship, <clears throat> the other thing, 
would you, I mean, can you imagine trying to have a normal intimacy with your wife if you knew that her profession was, you know, she's, you know, she finished her work day and she's had, she's uh, been to work 10 or 20 times with 10 or 20 different clients that day. Would you love that woman? And would you be absolutely free in your sense of guiltlessness in having marital relations? Those are hard, difficult thoughts that tell us really strong things about the heart of Hosea and why maybe he was selected for this very unusual mission. Hopefully these thoughts have broadened your thoughts and got you thinking deeply about what Hosea was chosen to do, <clears throat> the kind of man that God had made him to be. Thank you for listening to this Hosea addendum. God bless you if I have uh, blessed you, if I have encouraged you, if I have equipped you in any fashion, please like and subscribe.